Hey everybody, we're Kitsune here, and this time we will be fighting Jimmikin for the third time. His Digimon looks a little freaky and a little bit tougher. So uh, let's get on this. Maybe we can uh, take him down pretty quickly. If not, we'll find out. Let's get started. Sort of hoping that, like most of the bad guys, their uh, Digimon are weak against light. But that seems like that's not the case, so uh, buff. Maybe they're still weak to a fire, though. That always helps out. Probably not either. Maybe they have fire on their heads. Uh oh. This is no bueno. If this little guy looks like he's lightning, uh, I'm just gonna focus one of them down. Tends to be my strategy. Man, nothing I do is doing damage. Yikes. Panic Wisp. And crits. That's not, that's not good. And Joel Kenzi, we do have a uh, Gabumon and Agumon here helping me, but I'm not totally sure that they're going to provide the most help. But we've got other attacks. We'll hit one Cutter Sword and folks won't go down. I want to see if this does crit damage. That might be that'd be good if I have one attack that's doing something. Jeez, everything's point five. Do I have Cedramon? Yes, I do. Change Gargamon out for Cedramon. Just see if water's the way to go against these guys. I wonder if Agumon's jealous being extra rise. Greymon, like, man, I could be that one day. Um, I get Panic Recovery. Off Greymon. Let's see the panicking and being the living crab out of my allies. I gotta... Why is... this fire doing extra damage to Greymon? Not a fan of that. Alright, on this guy's turn, I'm gonna drop a... I'm gonna drop an item, get a reset, and then I'll go hard. Definitely a good item. I try not to use stuff like that unless I absolutely have to. I wonder if this guy's a different type. I'm gonna hit him one time to see if he is. No, he's not. Jeez. They're in for so much damage against my guys, and I can't figure out what exactly is going on. Keep focusing one die down. There we go. There's some good damage. So water is gonna be. Over I can't figure out. I guess fire's hurting Greymon. See if this is any extra damage on them. Everything I hit them with isn't doing any damage. I don't like that at all. Pack down. Defense down, attack up at me. Other guy's got defense up. Well, that guy's got defense down. Hmm. Keep Rise Grim on alive. I might switch some of these guys out here in a minute and get some extra damage on. I'm just grabbing my or like spit some bubbles out or something. Let's see what else I got over here. Come on, Gargamon, Gargamon. I have a lot of fire, I just realized. A lot of fire. Me, mine. I'll change out. For. XV on. See, see what this does. Hmm. It's 
guy is like spamming stuff. Defense down. Well, eventually I'll be able to knock these guys out with water. Might drop a speed up on this guy. Alright, it's Greymon's turn. If I can get more water attacks off. Like he's. Uh, Seedramon's not even on the enemy. And now I turn thing on this right side, which is not a good thing. Um, heavy strike two. Let's just see if I can just take this guy out. I'm not sure if he's even gonna do extra damage. At least a flat 88. If he hits everybody for flat 88, that's gonna be better damage. Oh no, great. They are like enjoying freaking out Greymon over there. He's doing double damage, even though he has the same move himself. Hydro water. I'm gonna focus down this left guy. Save the big guy for last. It's just sort of the way this is gonna roll for me. Um, so yeah. Uh, come down here. Try out V laser on him. That's some good damage. 53 solid for uh, it being half. Oh. Mother didn't didn't see that coming. We are not in a good spot. Let's see. I'm bring someone back alive. I don't think I have that anymore. That said, I'm probably just gonna sub out Rise Green Line. Take, take Hubiemon back in. Just give it a shot. She doesn't have the highest health, but she does do some pretty good magic damage. Jeez, they're some tough these little guys. Just need to focus out this left guy real quick, and then if I can get him gone, I can definitely. We can definitely. Yeah, all is wailing on one dude. Basically. The reason I'm taking out one instead of like spreading out my damage is because that's just less attacks they're getting. You know, if I spread out my damage, it's gonna take longer. But if I kill one, then at least you know they're getting two attacks as opposed to all of ours. Oh, except I misclick, and that's why stuff like that happened. Don't misclick. Let's go. Let's see. Some grass does. Shouldn't do anything. The fire. Or just miss. It's awesome. It's fun too. I don't get the whole hold the fence down attack up stuff. I feel like it's a double edged sword. Like if you don't kill me and want to hit, you're gonna take just as much damage from my normal attack because you've got less defense. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like unless you know you can one shot somebody, you're going to take extra damage back. So it just seems silly. I mean, that's my opinion. Some people might find use in it. I don't know the exact stats. It might double your attack, but only increase your defense by a little bit. I don't know, but I feel like increasing one to sacrifice the other is not really worth it unless you're going to, like, take them out right away and you already have an okay defense stat. Like, it's just odd to me. Alright, so that's two of them down. We're gonna move on to the next one. I'll have to get that guy patched up real quick. Make him not panicking. But he's got the uh, the attack up, which is pretty good. Uh oh, that's not good. Jeez, got him on back in, what, 10k health over there? Defense down stuff. It's like every time his wears out, he, he punched himself in the face. Oh, uh, to fix that on his turn, but oh, I guess I gotta fix it on this guy's turn now. Huh? Go ahead and get that fixed real quick. 
Oh, he's no longer panicked. Never mind. I'm not gonna worry about that. I didn't realize panic wore off like that. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna add panic to him. There's a higher chance of him hitting my guys than himself, so I'll just uh, whittle him down. Jesus. If 3k hit any single person on my team, that would end them. About time he did something. God, man, such a basic attack. If they were using skills all, all around, it'd be freaking awesome. Blows my mind that they don't. I'm glad I haven't turned XV Mon though into Flame Dramon, which I've been planning on doing here soon, but it would have been really unfortunate if I had brought Flame Dramon into this fight. But I'm wondering if this middle guy is vulnerable to flame. Because he doesn't use any fire attacks. He doesn't seem fire lady. Other guys have like flaming hair, but this guy doesn't. So it might have been beneficial since I had to me uh, fire types out originally just to take him out. <sighs> Can't be taking that damage though. Well, let's keep using fire attacks on this middle guy. Everyone I subbed out was really strong fire types. So worst case scenario, they rotate in and I blow this guy up. Definitely no way he's getting out of this one alive. Alright. This kind of sucks, but I mean, it's not like I didn't have strong people on the, my backups, so I'm not even remotely worried. Breath. I think that's Agumon's attack. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like that's what it was in the TV show. So, if anyone's confused by <laughs> the Pepper Breath comment, it was uh, we were living the good old season one Digimon days. I wonder if this guy's weak to light. I haven't used a light attack on him, I don't believe. No, not light. Agumon. This guy's hard. Just because his attacks, I don't think any of them are super effective. He's kind of he was kind of the weak link going into this one. I'm hoping to get him up into another level here soon. Jeez, I was doing some solid damage. This guy had a nice mix of elements, but that attack is a nightmare. I can't imagine. Like, I wish everyone on my team could hit for 3k in one hit. And there you go, guys, you know. Some fire for that middle guy, um, light, or water for the side guys, and you should, uh, be able to take this guy pretty quickly. I uh, personally, if you've got, a, like, a favorite Digimon, I'd recommend bringing in some revives. That's gonna help you out if you've got somebody you're trying to level up or anything like that. Somebody you just don't want going down, don't have a good back line to back your first lineup or whatever. Uh, that works too, but uh, you don't necessarily need them if you got a good back line, but I would definitely recommend them just in case. Yes, Looks like there's an item at Jimmykin's feet too, so uh, if you can roam this room afterwards, don't forget to pick that up. I do appreciate everybody watching. Like and subscribe. I'm going to keep these videos coming. I'll see you all next video.